Fallout 3 is a game I bust out when I'm feeling particularly down or if we're having a drought of good games, and after playing Smurf's Dance Party, I'm pretty torn up. I needed to return to something I knew and loved, and that usually means another romp through the wastelands. There's so many different ways to play this game, I thought I would break up the summer of shovelware with a few of my favorite titles. And I love replaying Fallout 3. In the past, I've gone total messiah, saving the good and smiting the evil. I've been as evil as possible, killing everything in sight. I've been a pacifist, unwilling to fix problems for anyone. And I've even played as the doctor, where I didn't use guns and put a ton of skill points into charisma and speech. Fallout 3 is an action RPG set in a dystopian wasteland, probably one of my favorite game settings, and involves you, a character born and raised in a vault, sheltered from the outside influence of war. The game's plot involves your search for your father, and along the way you encounter quite a lot of NPCs, each with their own problems and warped morals. It's your decision how much or little you participate in the lives of others, or even how much of the main quest you intend to follow. There are many tactical options open to you through various perks and where to place your skill points after leveling up. You have the option to stick to the main quest or branch out at times and see what else the Wasteland has to offer. Developer Bethesda got a lot of things right in this addition to the Fallout universe. The characters have a distinct charm and attitude, the design of the Wasteland is expansive and feels organically laid out, and although the quests can feel a little impersonal, sometimes deferring to the old standard of go kill three of those things, overall the quests, both main and side, are fun. There are a lot of little things in addition to the big things that make this title great. It's easy to overlook poor body and facial animation when Fallout 3 is just so ridiculously fun. In my first playthrough of Oblivion, I learned if I killed off a whole town, they just stayed dead. I ran into similar lessons in Fallout 3 with quests like The Power of the Atom, where you have the chance to blow up or save a whole town. But the real moment when I knew I loved Fallout 3 was when I walked over a hill and happened upon a giant rad scorpion fighting a sentinel, which was fighting a Yao Guai, which was fighting a dog, which was in turn fighting the scorpion. I just stood there and watched them duke it out, finally understanding what the Lion King meant by circle of life. Oh my god. After at least 200 hours of playing Fallout 3 on my 360 and another 20 on my PlayStation 3, I can safely say the game wasn't as smooth as I'd like it to be. Frequently, multiple active enemies in an area coupled with my actions would lag the game on my consoles and I would encounter freezing issues. The iron sights in this title were always an issue for me, and trying to survive without utilizing vats can get fairly frustrating, and that was a playthrough I abandoned fairly early on. I have mixed feelings about the DLC for Fallout 3. I mean, I love that the pit is in there, Point Lookout was actually quite interesting and funny at times, and Broken Steel was a wonderful way to extend the game while continuing to give real purpose. Unfortunately, Mothership Zeta was a bit meh and felt incredibly repetitious with no real difficulty. And the worst offender was Operation Anchorage. Now, bear with me here. I had an awesome time playing through it, but completing the missions gives you the most overpowered armor, which in my opinion ruins the rest of the game. Yes, you can just forget it exists, but you know that stealth armor is always there, waiting for you to crouch so you can go invisible and explode everyone's pants. <laughs> Fallout 3 is a great game for people who love building up a character and putting a lot of thought and heart into a title. We're reaching the end of the summer and you can expect to see a rise in great new releases, but for now, maybe just bust out an old favorite like I'm doing and play until the sun goes down. In the future, I would love to find time to play the prior Fallout games as well as New Vegas, but I don't think there's a perk for more hours in the day. You're going to pay for that!